Hey everyone, this is uh, Bishop Bowser again. Uh, another good workout. Uh, really got it in today. I uh, feel kind of good. Uh, today, you know, I just want to, I was, um, when I came into the gym today, uh, a couple of folks that work here asked me a question about diversity, right? And it got me thinking, you know, because when you uh, think of diversity, you know, we think of race, uh, we think of our genders, we think of, you know, um, our, gen our, our sexual orientation, all those different things. And, you know, that makes up diversity, right? Inclusion, including all of us. And it's not only just saying, hey, I have a, a diverse workforce, for example, but you have an appreciation for that workforce, right? Of each individual, of who they represent, their values, their uh, culture, their norms, right? But I was thinking of it from the perspective of working out, but also from a community aspect, you know, uh, when you're working out and building your body up and trying to be in good health, you know, the, the feet is not the hand, the hand is not the head, the tongue uh, is not the toe. You know, uh, we have different parts of our body, very diverse body, right, uh, so to speak. But we, it has to work together, right? And I have to appreciate even the most um, shameful aspects of my body where, you know, I, I cover up, right, right? Because you don't want to expose it. Uh, we have an appreciation for every aspect of our body. And you look at that as diversity and, and we should have an appreciation for each other. And one of the things I found is that, you know, we, we talk big talk on diversity. We do a big talk on uh, inclusion, we do a big talk on this, but the moment someone has a different perspective, a uh, different opinion, a different idea, or bring different values and beliefs to the table, it's automatically rejected if you don't go with the herd mentality. And so let us have real diversity and real inclusion if we're going to talk about it and have it. All right, God bless you.